Um, I thought the walk was fantastic. It was really informative. I thought it was really great to see how many thousands of years of history was of black history was lying right on these streets that I used to walk up and down and go to work. Why yeah, I work over there. I work over there, and I never see. The thing is, you see these monuments, but you know they have a meaning, but you never stop. You know, and all these symbols, especially the lion. You think. Why did you, does this country have a symbol of a lion? You see it all the time and it becomes the national symbol, but you never understand why. So just to be able to stop and think, that's what I really enjoyed about it. And I'll be doing, analysing everything where I'm walking buildings. So it's really, really good. It's really good. Alright, yes. You? I'm camera shy. <laughs> I mean, even on the passports, the passports. I've never noticed that before. It's just things you take for granted. It's like England, isn't it? It is. And that's why you see it everywhere. But, but why is, there why is are something someone else's and then act like it's theirs. Exactly. Well, a lot of the things now. But and, and everything. Everything they've adopted from Africa and adopted it or borrowed, as you politically borrowed. correctly Yeah, we like that one. Borrowed. today. <laughs> stole it. <laughs> they, stole. they stole it. They thief it. Maureen Lewis, originally from New York, living in South Carolina. Okay. And your tour was recommended by Julia Brown of Walking in Spirit Black Express. And it's been a wonderful tour. And I, if, as I said, the words can't express how happy I am to have seen the children responding to the tour mm. and the fact that you taught them that was not being taught in the schools. Mm. Great. You did, did a great job. Well, it's interesting and educational. All right, what did you learn then? Yeah, exactly. I learned a lot of like, black history and how like, things have changed. Uh -huh. Should I tell you what I learned? Go on then. Well, I learned a lot. Of, my name was Asha Hadi, and I was 13 years old. And today I've learned a lot of stuff, a lot about my history and where all of these monuments came from. At first, I thought they were just like buildings, uh -huh. but now I know what they mean and what the roads mean and why they were called that. Alright, why is Jamaica Road called Jamaica Road then? Um, Jamaica Road is called Jamaica Road because that's where all the Jamaicans used to be. No, oh my God. <laughs> they used to trade, yeah, that's the, they used to trade Jamaican. Uh-huh. Yeah. Alright. And there's wood lane, it's called wood lane, so that's where they used to sell wood. Alright. And yeah, and love lane is where they used to sell love. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, what are you eating there, girl? Yes, yes. Is that fufu? No. <laughs> <laughs>